In case you guys are new and haven't heard, Roll and Cole Customs, RCC as I call it, is almost done. We are almost complete with it. We just have finishing touches. Man, I love that sound. So, what I'm doing now is I just filled up with some diesel for this truck. She was getting a little low. And we're putting finishing touches. Now, finishing touches include putting giant green leaves with a stem on them around the property. But the only thing is, is if you place one of those down, man, and you don't like it, it just, you have to come in there with a T-Rex, as I call it, the, the chipper, and chip up this whole tree. So it kind of, it's kind of annoying. You can't just delete it, I guess. So if I'm gonna place down trees, which for sure around this dealership, we need trees. My gosh, I accidentally placed down that thing, and that thing is the ugliest little weed I've ever seen. And there we go. Perfect. Got the dodges all lined up here. And then one other thing I want to do is I want to buy all like, okay, I, I apologize for this. There's no way to say it, but the Ford trucks, the F-250 through F-450 Super Duty series that Chandler Buck or Ch Chandler Buck um, had made. He's Buck that plays in the roleplay videos. He literally made this mod. It's amazing. And it's a solid truck. It's, o it's one of the only new solid trucks that has like tons of different options. So you guys will see me use this, this new brand new Ford Super Duty series a lot. And we're going to have a lot of them because the mod is so good. Don't get me wrong. I like Fords. I like Chevys. I like Dodges. But really the only really good, really deta high detailed with tons of options mod is probably the Ford. It kind of, don't get me wrong. Like this, this. This new, this new Ram is great and stuff. And we're definitely going to have a couple of them around that you can buy. But it's just, it's not going to give me that option. So it'll be just like having the same truck, like five different same trucks compared to the Ford where I can build five of the same trucks but have tons of different options to sell here. Hopefully that makes sense. And then the GMC, my gosh, by gosh. I'll show, okay. I'll show you guys why we may have a little less Chevys and GMCs in here. It's not because I hate them. It's not anything like that. Great truck. But just the mod, the mod on it isn't as good. Of the new, I'm, I'm talking only brand new. Brand new is what I'm talking, guys. Used ones like that LBZ over there. Oh, it's perfect. It's amazing. So this, we definitely need trees around here. So what I'm going to do is jump into heaven, add some trees. getting there it's starting to look better um i didn't have too many options for trees trees just weren't i just didn't have too many options for trees i need to find more tree mods as far as street lights this is the only street light i had so i put it in here but there is some really nice ones some really nice fancy ones that i may put in later now back here we may have some issues so i plan to expand and put in probably one more building here because i feel like two buildings for rcc we could definitely have one more building it just even if we didn't use the building, to be honest, it'd just make the place look a lot cooler and that'd be sweet. So we may have to get rid of some of these trees. It's okay for now because the T-Rex destroys these trees in like a second. So we're fine. This spot I left open back here because this may be like campers or trailer parking. So I did, I did think, you know, pretty soon, uh, pretty soon we're going to have some, some type of parking space out here for like trailers or campers. Let's leave this open. Okay. So the next step is, is to go on the computer. We're going to Ford's website, we're going to go on Chevy's website, uh, and we're going to go on Dodge's website and order some pickup trucks to put out there and just have a huge lot of new. I'm talking new, not any customized, just older ones, but just brand new, straight up brand new. We got a budget of close to $6 million. We should be able to get her done. Okay, so I'm on Dodge's website right now. We have, now there's a couple different options you can order from factory. It can have snowplow prep, which... Might not be a bad idea. Usually snowplow prep is doesn't actually come with these brackets, but what it is, and I didn't know this, I just learned this. Snowplow prep allows if you're under warranty brand new, it allows the uh, it allows the manufacturer, so Dodge for example, 
to cover any like powertrain or any issues you had if you were running a snowplow on there and you have the snowplow prep package. It, it's, it's basically just a warranty if you're snowplowing, I guess. It's about what the customers like. So I gotta understand what sells to customers. Personally, I think the color match looks pretty good. You can never go wrong with a black truck. Depends what type of black we wanna go with. And a lot of the old guys that buy these Dodge Cummins, they do love a two-tone. It's just something about them, but, but it has to be perfect. It has to be perfect. So I don't know. I think I should just stick with all solid black colors. If we're going to be selling this, some guy can come in and custom order one through me and we can get him the two-tone color. So jet black, jet black. Yeah, not really digging it. Oh, yeah, baby. That looks pretty good. My gosh, just run through some color options. Now the question is, do we go with a two-tone? I personally love this. Some people might not. It's not about what I want. So what color is this? This is new silver. Okay, so new silver. We think of an old second gen Dodge. I just always think of this kind of gray silverish color for like an old second gen Dodge. Might not be a bad idea, but the question is, do you go with a chrome bumper? Man, I think, I think nowadays everybody's moving towards just color matched bumpers. I think it looks good like that. Uh, should we have the gooseneck prep package? Yeah, we'll have that. And then it looks like Dodge also comes with adjustable hitch. Okay, nice. Now wheels from factory. You can get these. <laughs> that's not true. That's uh, that's just an option add on we have there. Um, but we're going to go stock. We're going to keep her stock. So this is the limited. It does have the option for stock foldable, which we're going to go with. Okay. I think we are ready. We'll put in our order with Dodge and then we'll go pick it up later. Okay, we're gonna order another truck. Now the question is, let's change the colors up a little bit. So silver is a good seller. Obviously it's kind of a, not a classic model. It's, I'm not gonna do anything crazy like have a pink truck guys. It's just, it's gonna be a tough sell. I, I love sticking with this. We could go pearl white. Pearl white does look good. It's almost like the silver one we had though. Okay, we'll do one in pearl white. Pretty much the same options as the other one. Color matched. Uh, Gooseneck prep package, of course, with the dually. Wheel options, we'll keep stock. And then we'll go stock, we'll go stock foldable. There we go. And then we'll pick up that. Now this next one, I do, I do want to run into the old man style. The old man style, which I think is attractive to an old man. I don't know how you could, I, I just think, I think like an old man when I'm designing trucks, guys. I love two-tone trucks. And it seems like a lot of the old guys that come in here talk to me. They like two-tone trucks too. So, what we're going to do. So we're going to go black with, ah, that's tough, man. That is tough having a garlic. A brown might not, oh, it's tough to get this perfect. We're going to try to get perfect though. That's not bad. That's not bad. A black with a new silver. It is also kind of risky, but the red does tend to do well. Man, that's a risky sell right there. What about red on red? Not bad. Let's just go the classic red, but instead of doing that, let's go, uh, Let's go chrome bumpers. We'll just go all chrome. I think that looks pretty good. I honestly do. So now let's go as far as attachments. We'll do uh, put the gooseneck prep package on, stock wheels, and then we'll just do uh, we'll just do stock, not foldable. That way this will be a little cheaper truck than the others. Okay, so here's Chevy's website. Now this is the oh, man. How do I say this? This guys, this is the only truck we have. This is the only truck. This is the only truck we have that I have. That's uh, that's pretty good. The only thing is, man, when we put this next to another truck, you guys are gonna think, oh my gosh, dude, this is a midget's truck. This truck is tiny, just because the model size is just a little smaller. And I hate dissing, I hate saying anything bad about it. But I'm just gonna tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna see, and you're gonna be like, holy crap, this is tiny. But I'm gonna buy it anyways for you Chevy fans. I am gonna buy this for you Chevy fans. We're gonna put in a couple orders. So there's white, and this is this is kind of a nice color. So this would be the custom trim, it, trim, sorry, custom trim, trim. -er. It's got the, uh, it's gonna have a cloth interior to it, so not leather. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a cheaper truck, but she looks pretty good with those rims on her. So it doesn't have the Chevy badge. It actually says Chevrolet across there. So here's the custom. We'll order the custom, and then we'll put an all black order into. 
So here's the Dually, the 3500 HD Dually. And what's cool about this is there's a couple bed options that actually look pretty cool as, as, as I was running through them. Now the question is, what color do we go with? Garlic? Yeah, no. It's gotta be a white or black, man. It's tough to get the, out of the color options we have here. It's tough to get a good color out of here. None of them have that UDMI on them too. So it's, let's just go white. We'll just go white. And then attachments. Okay, stock, that looks pretty good, man. When you go from this to this, when you go from this to this, it's like, man, that truck actually looks pretty darn good with that on. But there are some flatbeds to her, which looks pretty cool. You know, that looks pretty darn good. So I don't know what that one was, but this like, oh, oh, oh dude. Oh, you guys know what that is. That's a Corvette. That's gotta be or is that the taillights for this flatbed i think this okay props to this modder because this is kind of interesting and cool he took the corvette back end and put it on here and turned it into a flatbed dude <laughs> that's pretty cool you know one of these yeah oh corvette welding bed that's what it is maybe that's a thing too maybe that maybe a lot of guys do that and that's how he got the idea or maybe it was his idea Okay, stock bed, it's got gooseneck prep package, we'll do that. And then later at RCC, we can then put flatbeds on them. And then we'll just do a black one too. Jet black, that looks pretty good. Okay, so lastly is the Fords. I'm on Ford's website. Now here's the standard 250, a Lariat, and then we got King Ranch options. I'm not gonna go, we'll buy an XLT later, just right, not right now. I wanna order a Lariat and King Ranch. So we got the 250s here which look pretty darn good. This is pretty much a base Lariat gas version, which we'll get into a power stroke later. I'm only gonna have one more gas. Now the question is, I don't I don't think a gas dually is gonna sell. I just feel like there's a couple guys that do them, but you're gonna have to custom order one through me if you want a gas dually, you know? So most likely for our other gas truck, we're gonna stick with a 250. Um, plow prep package or winch. We'll just have plow prep because most of these guys that are buying these gassers are guys that push snow with them. Okay, it's going to have gooseneck prep package in the back there. And then what I'm going to do is design color. This is interesting because I think we had two-tone for the other one. So should I just go a white color? Also, a really popular truck that I've seen nowadays is a magnetic metallic, which looks pretty good. This is just like my truck in real life besides my son 2020, 2017. But this is a... Uh, a, this is a color that a lot of Ford trucks have been using. So I think we're going to go with that. Even though I don't think it looks the best. But we're just going to do it. As far as stock, we're going to just have the stock premium steps. These are uh, perfect. They're solid. They're not foldable at all. But that's what we'll add to the truck. Now a couple factory tailgate options we can change. Fifth wheel. Which we can do that RCC. And then stock. We'll just keep our stock. We'll, we'll make this one a Lariat since we do have a King Ranch. Now 18 inch. Or 19 inch. Man, those 19s look pretty good for a Lariat. I think we're gonna keep the 19s stock bed, or we could eventually we could put a uh, <laughs> we could put a flatbed on here. So this is gonna be our only 6.2 liter gas. We have a 7.3. This is gonna be the only 6.2 liter we'll have on hand. As far as bumper guards, we can add those later if we need to. Ramps, stock bed on add-ons, add rear wheel drive. Now we'll make this an FX4 package. It's gonna cost a little more, but we'll put FX4 on there. So this is what Ford's website is like. We got the F450 body on there, but now they're just gonna run us through the tire options. Obviously, it's still got the F250 tires, so we can just change those. We go F-series wheel configurations, 19 inch, but then we'll go dually. So this will, or actually we'll go to, so this is the F350, but I'm gonna make this an F450. Watch the only little difference you'll notice is these wheels, the, the, the front axle is just a little bit wider. They stick out personally. Like, if I had to go an F350 Dually or an F450 Dually, I would totally go F450 Dually. Probably just because of the looks. Man, those F450s look mean. And that front, the front axle, the wider front axle just looks so much nicer. I hear they have a tighter turning radius, too. But I don't really like the look of the F350s. F450s, man, they look a lot better. It seems like the tires got smaller. Is that me? Or did the tires get smaller? So this is actually going to be a King Ranch. And we're going to have matching bumpers here now as far as design color goes i want this one to obviously look oh man this would be like a platinum 
I don't know if you could get, ah, dude, this would be like a straight platinum truck. Now we can't, for this mod guys, there's no way to make this, uh, make this a platinum badge. So we could just play this off and present, pretend this is a platinum because man, does this look good? But, okay, here's how it's going to go down. This is a platinum. I'm calling it. I know it's got the King Ranch in here. Pretend these are red seats that come in the platinum. This is a platinum. Because, man, does this look good. Now, as far as we got stock premium foldable, let's make the nicest of the nicest out of these hitch options. Let's put a, uh, we'll put a gooseneck prep package, of course, in there. Now, I could put a toolbox, but those are things we could add in later. Bed cover. Oh, you guys aren't going to like this. Yes, topper cover, baby. Oh, you guys are not going <clears> to... <throat> You guys are not going to like that. There's no way you guys like that. Okay, so I just put a, a bed cover on it. That'll be good. And then rear wheel drive. We'll have the FX4 package on here. There we go. We got the FX4 package. Mud flaps. Heck yes. Mud flaps are on her. And there we go. So the last one I'm making is going to be a 350. It's going to be a power stroke, but it's going to be a single rear wheel. Um... I really want to go with the Keen Ranch interior on this. So, Shadow Black, man. This Shadow Black always looks good. I always switch these up for some reason. We'll go Shadow Black up top. And then that two-tone. Oh, I love a... I love this. I love this brown so, so much. But maybe like a silver would look pretty good with this. Man, that does look good. That looks really good. Actually, how about this? A blue jeans metallic. And then a smooth cream. Nah. Let's go all blue jeans. Can you go all blue blue jeans and be a kin ranch still? Okay, we'll keep this as Lariat, okay? We're going to go. I know some of you guys may not like this. But we're going to no. We're, we're not going to do any color matching. Um, as far as hitch options... We're just going to go, go, go gooseneck prep package, but we're going to put a topper on this truck. Now, man, the one thing that really throws me off here, I don't know. I'm trying to go through this F350 Lariat. See how it has these wheel wells here? I don't know why I, I don't know why you'd have to have those. But when you go to F250, it gets rid of those wheel wells. Okay, I may have to keep this truck as an F250 because I those wheel wells just look, I don't like them. So we may have to keep this as F250. Squad, you done messed up. Everybody's going to hate me for this, but we're going to put topper on this truck. My gosh, that F450 would have looked a lot better with topper than F350 or F250, but we're going to do it. Of course, you have to have mud flaps. Any truck that comes out of RCC without mud flaps is not an RCC truck. Okay, it's time to go pick those trucks up, and then I got to finish this lot that I want to call a lot. I don't even know how this is going to work. Okay, so I think here is where I'm going to put a lot of the trucks, around here. So this is going to be basically the viewing circle that you swing around. You have all your trucks lined up here, some trucks lined up here. I think that'll be good. It's just, it's a lot more unique than just having a row of trucks. Okay, I got the Chevys loaded up. They came back from factory. Here they are. Now I haven't put them next to a Ford or Dodge, but they do look good. One thing I got to give huge credit to, or just like huge awesomeness, awesomeness towards, holy crap, is that supposed to be like that, that pipe? <laughs> it's pretty funny, but uh, anyways, machine's modding, my gosh, nice job on the sounds, this thing whistles like a little whistler, my god, sounds great, sounds like we just got a giant turbo in it, oh, -ho. yeah, baby, wow, all right, go ahead and pass me, car, my gosh. Pass me. Everybody's always complaining about me hitting signs. It's like every video, I see a comment. Like, oh, squad just took out a sign. Squad just took out a sign. Look, just passed the sign. Didn't even touch it. So, we just got here. Everything is unloaded. And uh, we're going to get going. Okay, so the Chevys are going to go. We'll put the Chevys first. Chevys are going to be first in line. There we go. One down. She looks like a beaut. And second one. And third one. Check this out. 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbocharged diesel. 
Man, <laughs> you even put like vibrate vibrations in the engine. Man, that's some cool mod right there. Some good mod. And we got the tailgate that drops down back here with the gooseneck prep package. Okay, now we're on to the Fords. What I'm going to do is unfold the mirrors. We'll extend the mirrors. There we go. Mirrors are extended. Now, I think this truck just looks amazing. She shines. She's got color to her. I love the LEDs on her. Now, the only thing is that I couldn't get this cover to fold back. And I know I know it's something with me. Something with how I'm an idiot. But uh, it could fold back one more time, it looks like. And it just, I can't get it to do that. But I remember Chandler showed me this. And he was just, I was talking to him one-on-one. -on -one, he was showing me it. And it completely flipped back over. So I must be doing something wrong. And we got the F-250. Power stroke and another F-250 gasser, the 6.2 liter, even though she's got the dual exhaust on her yet. But the dual pipes that stand for that show diesel kind of. We barely fit on the trailer. When you just look at these steps, man, that's a beautiful sight. The only thing is these may I shouldn't say this as while I'm selling new Fords. Oh, dude. <laughs> I thought we just passed that mail. What the heck? Did you guys think, oh my gosh, I thought we just like passed a tractor or something, like a giant tractor. I was so confused there. My gosh. I think a lot of people will think the same thing. I literally thought like we just passed, I was like, what? What's that tractor doing right there? And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just on the mailbox. My gosh, that was crazy. That scared the crap out of me, dude. Well, we're hauling with the beauty. I really, to be honest, I really love, I guess the F-350 may look like this too, the Dually. I really love the Dually back ends. And man, those just look good. The, the aesthetics to the back end of these Fords, I just love. Like the FX4 and then around around the Dual, the fenders that come out there, it just looks clean. Chevy's looks really good too. Don't get me wrong, man. I'm going to admit, I can already feel the lag taking place a little bit with all these mods coming in. No matter how good a PC you have, you can never beat the lag when you have thou like tons of mods just all racked up in one spot. This may be an issue. Okay, so here's the difference I was talking about. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. It's a good thing I put an F-250 next to a uh, Chevy Dually, so that way. Check out this gas sound. Oh, that's awesome. There we go. So we got the Lariat 6.2 liter gas right there. And then we'll get the F-250 power stroke down here. The metallic blue jeans. She shines. People are going to kill me for putting this topper on this truck, man. I know you guys are. <laughs> it does look a little ugly. I thought toppers look pretty cool sometimes. But man, this one does look a little ugly. And here we have the Dodges. One thing though. Tow mirrors engaged. So here we have it. We have the Dodges, then we have the Fords, then we have the Chevys. See, the only thing is you guys can see the Chevys are just a little undersized, but they actually, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. They're actually, they actually look pretty good compared to these trucks. I thought they were gonna be a ton smaller. So that's what we got so far. You know, I'd love to fill the other half, but right now guys, it's just gonna be, it's going to be really tough because it's going to be really laggy around here if we start filling the other half. But this is going to be the end. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button. And hey, I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.